basically uh, the, the students BTEC first diploma in art and design have been set this project man and horse and the object, object of the exercise is to produce two horses, one in wax at the scale of 12 to 1 and one in plaster at the scale of 6 to 1 and also a painting and then sketchbook research. So they had a lot of the research in place in their sketchbooks, lots of anatomical drawings that they've been studying. So basically in order to create this plaster horse in proportion, which is the object of the exercise, and this is Amelia's horse, uh, we can take set measurements from an anatomical drawing. So for example, from the ground to the hock is a set measurement that we can compare with other areas of the horse to um, check that it is in proportion. Um, but of course we do put a lot of emphasis on primary source work, so we'll be going along to uh, a local stables in order to see real horses close up. That will inform what they're doing here. Uh, these will be painted. There are a couple of examples. The students are encouraged, once, they, once the horse is in proportion, they're encouraged to then individualise them. And um, that, that horse there, the Pegasus, is from last year. So basically that student decided to make a mythological horse, putting the wings on it, etc. So by the time these are finished, uh, most of them, if not all of them, will be coloured. Some to look like bronze, some to look like metal, some to look like stone, for example. Um, some may even have um, tack, you know, reins saddle on them, etc., etc., and possibly even a figure sat on them. So this is roughly speaking about a halfway stage. Um, and as you can see, they're all preoccupied with getting the anatomy and um, proportion absolutely correct. I'm working on a wax horse which started off with my drop and this base which is like a team so we can make, make it sturdy and stuff like that. And then we've got to do it proportion so you can use it calibre which you've already seen like measure different parts so you can get it right. You can be yourself that you've got your own input on the course. It's not just they tell you what to do, you've got your own you can use your imagination for the course. So the, these are excellent tools just for working the surface and getting into detail. Uh, calipers obviously for measuring and then you've got modelling tools for actually applying the plaster. So they're learning about mixing the plaster, which is a correct ratio, one part water, one and a half parts plaster built on an armature, you know, so there's an incredible amount of learning. Of course, you can apply this to industry, all sorts of industry. Mm -hmm.